Hey folks, Matt from OurTheImage.com. We have a viewer question in here on the email. This is from uh, Sachin. I think, I hope I'm saying that right. They are from India. And uh, he says, hello, I came across your content while trying to educate myself about photography. And they've been great. Thank you for that. Today I have a question for you. I'm looking to buy my first DSLR. So I shortlisted the Nikon D5300 for its great image quality and everything else it offers. Recently I learned about the Nikon D7200 and liked it better for its semi-professional features because I'm passionate about photography and will be taking professional photography work once I improve my skill. So I thought the D7200 will serve me better in the long run. However, the D7200 is still a crop sensor DSLR and I almost never see a pro using a crop sensor DSLR for their work. So will I be able to professionally work with the D7200 itself or will I have to update from that too? If I do have to update from the D7200, I thought I'd rather buy the 5300 now, save money and update if altogether to full frame in the future. What do you think? Is a full frame DSLR utmost necessary for pro work, weddings, portraits and street photography or will the D7200 uh, be sufficient? Also, I couldn't find where and how to buy refurbished models. I couldn't find it. Please guide me to that too. Well, what is your opinion on this? Looking forward to your reply. Thank you for your effort. Regard, uh, yours truly, Sachin. So, thank you very much for your question. Uh, we get a lot of questions about the 7200, uh, and you're trying to decide between 5300 and 72. Um, let's answer some of the direct questions you had here. Um, uh, you said you've never seen a pro using a crop sensor for their work. Well, all of us used to because at one point there were no full frame DSLRs out yet except for the old Kodak which most people weren't using wasn't fast enough for event work like weddings and, and whatnot uh, and then you said will I be able to professionally work with the D7100 itself sure I shot weddings with a pair of 7000s and the 7200 is more advanced than the 7000 and I loved it the Sigma 1750 f2.8os great lens to pair with that and uh, then put a 50 f1.8g on the other one and then you got two DSLRs one to back you up uh, the old navy seal philosophy uh, two is one and one is none in other words if one fails you're still shooting and uh, so that, uh, yeah, that's the easy answer right there. The D7200, sure, I would have no problem shooting uh, events and portraits and, and all sorts of things with D72s. It's a great bargain setup. In fact, you could get a 7100 and get most of the goodness. The only thing the 7200 really has over the 71 is a deeper shot buffer. In other words, if you're shooting high frame rates, like if you're tracking a sports figure running or a moving... Uh, animal, wildlife, bird photography, something like that, you may benefit from it there. But for weddings and events, I'd probably be happy with the 7100s. It's essentially the same camera, same great autofocus system, top-end autofocus system. So yeah, no problems with that. Just choose the right lenses. And as I suggested, Sigma 17-50 f2.8OS and the 50 f1.8G, it's probably all you need. I've definitely shot with just those two lenses. If you want to go a little longer, then get into a 70-200, to either the f4 or a Sigma f2.8, or uh, it just depends what your budget is there. Um, now, as far as full frame... You may still want to upgrade to full frame in the future. You don't need to, but full frame has its advantages. Shallower depth of field with a given lens. Um, about two stops better high ISO, so if you're shooting in dimmer lighting. And, you know, all, a, a lot of things pros like are that the lenses are what they are. There's no crop factor applied. So if you're putting a 24 to 70 on, it is a 24 to 70. You don't have to multiply it by 1.5 for the crop factor of a DX crop sensor camera. Um, so there is some definite advantages. I really like the 610. It's a great all-around camera. 7200 actually has a better autofocus system than the 610, although the 610 is decent. It's very usable. 750 is a great option. You can get it for a good deal right now. It's been out for a while, but it's still one of the best DSLRs, full-frame DSLRs out there. Um, so you just kind of got to decide what your budget is. If your budget allows, sure, step right up. Um, if you think you're going to be shooting for a while with this camera you're buying, then I would get the, and you can't afford full frame, then I will go with the 72. Or what I would suggest is if you're looking to save money and then going to update later, I wouldn't get the 53. I would get a 71 used or refurbed. It's the best of, of, of all solutions there for you, I think, because um, for weddings and event work, you're not really going to need that higher uh, ability, to, to the, the deeper shot buffer to shoot a higher frame rate more frequently. Um, so I would go with the 71 and save money. That's what I would do. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, 
would you go with the 7200 or the 7100 or would you go with the 5300 or should he go full frame do you agree with what my suggestions are do you have a different suggestion let us know in the comments below always great to hear from you guys and your feedback helping out our viewers and thanks again for your question stay tuned we'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com